Oh, hi, and welcome. My name is Jason Harris, Managing Director and Auctioneer for Scammel Auctions, and welcome to another edition of What's It Scammels. Let's go and have a look around. And done. Okay, and a great place to start, a World War I campaign bed. Folds up into a nice little portable, um, nice little portable case. Haven't seen many of these at all over the last 25 years or so that have been doing this. This is in great condition, campaign beds. Look at this, we've got busts. If you're a bust person, then we have got the busts from you. Everything from Chopin, Tchaikovsky, um, Mary Magdalene, the whole lot, including baby planking. So lovely lot of busts there. It'd have to be 25, 30 of them. I reckon that's about $100, $150. Let's go this way. Organ, for those who like to play uh, with your organ, this is definitely a, a restorer's piece. Needs some help, uh, but we don't, again, don't get many of these for a reason. They don't sell that well. Okay, we've got a bit of furniture in this week. Dressing tables, or dressing, uh, it's not, not a dressing table, it's a sideboard. Nice little size, this one. Uh, so rather than the big ones that uh, find hard to fit into uh, the smaller rooms these days. The petite pieces are selling quite well. It's restored, everything's done, ready to go. Maybe $150, $180. Very nice. It's mahogany chest of drawers. This is an English one. Uh, what I love about this one in particular, if you're looking closely with the knobs, it's almost like a, a tiger uh, finish or a striped finish. They're quite rare. Uh, each of them with an inset mother of pearl, um, mother of pearl centre. Again, good piece, uh, needs a bit of a tidy up, but the, uh, the knobs are the winner. Hall stand, there's all sorts in this week as well. This is lovely, nice little coloured child's bench. Uh, so you can, it's, you can have uh, one for yourself and one for your kids. Nice, underneath that a bar uh, with a real vinyl padded front. Very nice, reminds me of my hospital days. Coming this way, we've got uh, stereo. So the BO Centre, uh, BO Master, this is the BO Master 1900. And some speakers, these wouldn't be uh, B&O speakers, but again, nice speakers. The BO uh, 1900 always sells quite well. That's probably $100 by itself. Display cabinet underneath. Cane centre, uh, the cane uh, always uh, sells well. Uh, teak in this week, we've got a few uh, different type of teak cabinets. Uh, this one's a bit more of a plain, a three-door one. Around the other side, uh, we'll show you. Actually, this is quite nice as well. Art Nouveau chair. Uh, but lovely little floral flourish, as they call it, through the top there. If you can get a, a good look at that. Um, very nice chair again, but that's, again, what makes that one. Over here, uh, other than the drum kit, look at that. Uh, it's uh, two part sets, uh, Ashton and um, uh, Remo, I think it is. Uh, there's um, probably enough to kit up. A good starter kit. Uh, this one needs a new symbol, uh, but, again, it's good quality sets, these two. Uh, this is nice as well. A hill, uh, English made, retro. Uh, again, lovely inset handles on this one. Uh, that should sell quite well. Two, maybe $300, but the brand is Hill from England. Cane baskets, great. Delivering bed, bread, cakes, the whole lot. Little Red Riding Hood, if you're doing a bit of a mock-up of a play. Uh, over this way, uh, sideboards, another little, uh, again, a lip handle one. Uh, this is sort of a, almost a seven-footer. Um, a good piece again. Uh, needs a bit of orange oil on top, but came out of an estate that we're handling. Uh, so a lovely lip handle uh, piece. Uh, over we go. There's, uh, again, a fair bit in this week. So we've got uh, rosewood sideboard. What's nice about this is the uh, multi-colours with the uh, inset handles. Again, they're in quite a good condition. Unfortunately, they haven't sold that well over the past year and a half. This one may be $100, $150. Uh, but if you're fitting out an office or an entertainment unit, uh, this is a good piece to have. OK, over we go. We'll show into that room at another edition uh, we're going to release next week. That's coming up for our showcase sale. Come back to the website. Nice piece of uh, Danish leather. 
Uh, this one is in quite good condition. Uh, does need a bit of help uh, on the side here, a bit of a clean over, but a good comfortable piece. Oh, look at this Leo Conchi. We've got a beautiful green velvet floral. It's got everything. This is the uh, creme de la creme of lounge suites. Um, if you're fitting out the lounge or give it to your uh, parents-in-law, I'd, I'd love this. Uh, lovely green velvet floral, very comfortable, lovely carving. We're going to head this way because we've seen probably the biggest flavour flav clock we've ever seen in our life. Over here, Chesterfield Lounge. Last week's one, we got uh, 1550 and 1350. Uh, not as good a condition as that one, but the Chesterfields are running hot. Over here, here we go. Look at this one. That's a clock. Never run late again. Uh, lovely one, made in England, this one. These are oh, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Uh, we haven't sold one this big for a long time, um, but very, very collectible. Uh, if you're fitting out a hotel or even uh, in your, your kitchen, nice piece. Going down to the smaller ones, original slate clock. What is nice with this one, it's got uh, lovely coloured marble inset. Uh, underneath that, a chest of drawers. A good, honest uh, Victorian 1880s, 1890s cedar chest of four drawers. Again, lovely original handles with a mother of pearl inset. On top of that, the New South Wales Fireman's Helmet. Uh, lovely brass helmet, this one. And um, it's, uh, these, again, sell for around about $250, $300. Nice piece. Okay, Stauby leather. Let's have a look at this. Or Stuby or Stauby, Danish leather. Beautifully worn in. I, I don't mind the colour. A lot of people don't like this colour. Uh, camel leather. Um, but it's a really, really good colour. Um, it is a two piece so you've got a two-seater and a single-seater um, again for the smaller lounge suite uh, set that off with a really nice sideboard um, very very nice teak um, the landscape or the uh, cityscape at the back there probably New York or somewhere like that great over this one another big one so a lovely big sideboard uh, teak uh, big one, hard to put probably the, uh, the plasma on top of this one, but again, these are running hot, three, four, five hundred dollars each. The carboy, green glass carboy, very nice. Okay, let's go over this way. We've got tools again this week. We're running hot on tools, something special as well. Oh, this is nice too, Georgian uh, Pembroke table, uh, circa oh, 1790, 1800. Um, needs a bit of a polish over, but again, these are quite hard to get. Don't get a lot of money, around two, three hundred dollars. You're buying something that's two hundred years old. Okay, this way. Oh, let's start it off. Um, I've been told these are part of the furry gang, so if uh, you are um, taking on uh, what is in England, uh, a bit of a fad over there, dressing up as your favourite uh, Caramello Koala figure or furry fin friend figure, have a look at the eyes. These are fake baseball eyes. I reckon this is an absolute cracker. You get, uh, probably not quite my size, that's why I haven't got it on. Uh, but dress up straight down the parklands in this, there won't be a problem at all. Okay, as you can see, the, uh, the industrial section uh, is uh, fantastic. We've got all sorts of little old scales, um, nice little fire extinguisher, coits, Russell coit set, which is always good as well. Boomeroo, uh, these always sell well. These, um, these do up quite well as well, the Boomeroo truck. Very nice. On this side, again, all sorts in this week. So if you're setting up a, a bit of a kitchen display, uh, there's all sorts in here. This is nice too. A uh, little lapidiatrist cabinet or if you collect um, bugs or anything like that. A uh, lovely little mouldy drawer cabinet. Again, this one here, you probably get three or $400 for this one, which is you know, a lot more than what we're getting for our cedar chest of drawers. Uh, oil uh, products, again, selling really well. This is an old, uh, probably off a of Volkswagen or something, a left hand or right hand turn, it's probably a left hand turn, there you go, just like that. Over this side, uh, letters, lots of letters in. Okay, hopefully they don't spell anything bad. But, um, yeah, give me a C, give me an O, give me an I, give me an N, give me a D. Uh, look great inside the house, leave them exactly the way they are. Um, these, uh, these look really good. So we've got two sets of letters. These are the bigger ones. And on this side, uh, we have the smaller ones. Again, don't paint them, don't do anything to them. Leave them exactly the way they are. Uh, really, really good. So lots in this week at Scammels uh, for the furniture side. Let's go and visit Adrian in the Smalls and see what he has.
Okay, welcome to What's It Scammels, the collector's area, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have a look through the collector, uh, the collectibles area, the smalls area, as we call it. Um, we've got all sorts of gear here this week. The guys are still unpacking boxes. I've even been in here uh, up to my elbows unpacking boxes as well. So we are still unpacking. There's a heap of gear coming out this week for you. So we'll just have a look through here, Toby. We've got lots of unusual little bits and pieces ranging from the European and continental ceramics, uh, figurines, all sorts of little goodies in there if you're into animals, the, the horse side of things. We've got a lovely piece in the back here. I'll just move that little one out the road. Have a look at this. What a beautiful piece of shawl. All hand carved, lovely piece. Uh, you know, it could be possibly 19th century, so I would think that's that sort of age. Lovely piece there. Uh, lots of little bits in here. We have a little uh, Australian pottery line. That's a little beauty. Uh, not marked. That's uh, definitely an Australian piece, that's for sure, a lovely little piece. Uh, ranging to the English wallbirds, these are making a big comeback. Uh, if you've got a retro house or even a more contemporary house, they'd love to see them on the wall these days. Let's have a look through here. This is quite good, Toby. We'll have a look at this one here. Shelley, always a good seller. Have a look at that. That's a six-person setting, so two, four, six. Looks to be complete. Uh, lovely deco style. That's a, that's a beauty, actually. Uh, up here we have the Mary Gregory vases. We have a matching pair, the boy and the girl. Always a popular little topic there. Uh, kerosene lamps making a bit of a comeback again. Um, so a uh, mixture of 19th century and 20th century kerosene lamps in this sale here. Let's wander over here. Now those of you who are banknotes and coin collectors, we have all sorts. Have a look in this cabinet ranging from the $20 uh, Australian consecutive bills uh, through to one pounds, uh, 10 shillings. We've got a mixture of all sorts in here this week. So a good range of everything. Onto the retro gear in the next cabinet, retro cup saucer, plate sets, the genie bottles, always popular. Always sell quite well, these ones. Uh, retro glasswares, uh, some art glass fish, Onto the Crown Derby in there, a bit of a mixture in the retro cabinet, so we've got some classical and retro. Uh, moving through this way, have we got video games this week? We've got some great video games. This shelf here, we've got uh, Star Wars, Donkey Kong Jr., James Bond 007. Uh, these are Coleco, so pretty interesting, you know, in, in television, vi vintage video games. Over to this side here, this is a huge collection of Intellivision, all these shelves here. There is a huge amount of games uh, in the boxes, including the Intellivision machine down the bottom with the original owner's manual. Fantastic find. Uh, through to this cabinet here, Toby. Got some interesting bits and pieces. Petrol advertising gear, always a good seller. The shell, uh, the gargoyle grease, uh, the, uh, the, the plane on the globe. That's a beauty reproduction, but a lovely piece. Uh, if you're into planes and you like something for the desk, Little steam engine, always a good seller. Uh, they're quite good. Now, if you're into vintage cameras, the Mamiya C3, what a beauty. Have a look at that. It's a spare lens in the case there as well. Lots of little spare bits and pieces. Quite a rare camera uh, and lovely to see in that sort of condition as well. Uh, over to this side here, Toby. Let's have a look in here. This is quite a rare thing. Here's a Boomeroo train set or Boomeroo trains, the flyer. What a beauty. That's a great find. Uh, still got the original sticker on the side here. Boomeroo toys, Australian made. Lovely setting there. Uh, the Stanley 444 dovetail joiners plane, that's quite a beauty. The fence has been repaired, unfortunately, but that's a 444, uh, and again, quite, quite a rare find. Uh, it's amazing what we find at Scammels here, absolutely. On to the next cabinet. Here we go, let's have a look in here. We've got the little uh, little Joe, there's little Joe. We've got the uh, phrenology head, uh, always a good sell, interesting piece. For the train collectors, there's another American Flyer Lines train. Uh, woodwork collectors, we have wood planes, uh, still in the original boxes, which is a good, uh, good to see. Uh, then we have some pipes, lots of tobacco pipes. Look at all this. Tobacco pipes in the stands, all sorts of goodies. If you need a doorstop, lovely kangaroo. Reproduction, but a beauty. Uh, over to this side here, let's have a look. Okay, over to this side, we'll go to the top shelf there. Look at that, there's a Sturt football supporter. Uh, wouldn't bring as much as a Norwood supporter. No, you never know this sort of thing. Uh, so uh, stir and it uh, looks like the red legs there as well. So some good little collectibles for this week's sale. Let's wander around this way here, Toby. We'll, we'll head over to the jewellery cabinet. So let's have a look over here. Alrighty, jewellery cabinet scales are in there. It's a little bit of a mess at the moment, but we're sorting through that at the moment. Uh, so we'll just get the keys. Let's have a look in there. If we can get the right key for that one. Let's have a rouse. Okay. There we go, we've got that one open. Uh, what we'll do, Toby, we'll go to the next shelf down. We'll have a look in here. Have a look at these little medallions. These are lovely. Uh, circa 1920s, uh, some lovely gold ones in there, nine carat gold, uh, and a good find. Gold always, uh, oh, it's one of those investments, isn't it? Uh, here we go, here's a lovely coin as well. Check that out. That's a gold coin, that's a beauty. Let's flip it over. 
Uh, so that's circa 1897, what a beauty. And again, gold, uh, you know, good investment there, that's for sure. Uh, lovely little pocket watch here as well uh, in the in the little box there. That's a lovely little piece. Uh, you know, whether it be a lady or a gentleman who hangs on to that sort of thing these days, uh, it's all good there. Uh, okay, over this side here, lots of jewellery, heaps of jewellery. Have we got jewellery? Have a look in there. You never know, you might even find a real gem. Lots of costume jewellery, bits and pieces. Uh, if you're looking at, you know, you're wearing some of this jewelry, that's fine, or using it for clothing or something like that. Lots of coins, little bits and pieces, heaps of collectibles, huge amount of collectibles this week. As I said, we're still unpacking boxes, uh, Oriental tea set at the top shelf, uh, good blue and white bits and pieces. There's, there's a huge amount of gear this week. So we are still unpacking boxes, ladies and gentlemen. There's a huge amount still to come out. Uh, we'll be here until midnight tonight, possibly, you never know. Uh, so catalogue will be up on website uh, on Friday evening, around about 7 o'clock we're looking at. Uh, so if you have a look at www.scamlauctions.com.au, uh, we have the auction on Monday morning and we'd love to see you here at 9am on Monday morning for the auction. Thanks.